Just as the Hollywood award shows this year have been dominated by the Time's Up movement, the 60th annual Grammy Awards became a platform for artists to address ill harassment and abuse, but also President Donald Trump, immigration and gun violence. Artists arrived on the red carpet with white roses to show support for female equality, but other skewed Trumper criticized his administration's treatment of immigrants with the Statue of Liberty serving as a backdrop. Kendrick Lamar opened the show with a gun-ratting performance while country stars mourned victims of the country's largest mass shooting. These are the top moments of Sunday's Grammy Awards, underscore underscore fire and fury. The Grammy Awards didnt hold back in a pre-recorded skit aimed at President Trump, which featured a surprise appearance by Hillary Clinton and others reading embarrassing passages from the Trump tell all fire and fury. The skit featured musicians such as John Legend, Cher, Snoop Dogg and DJ Khaled reading portions of the book as an audition for the audiobook. Rapper Cardi B added her own opinion after reading about Trump's regular routines, saying this is how he lives his life but it was Clinton's appearance that gathered the loudest applause from the crowd at Madison Square Garden. Predictably it was a hot topic on Twitter soon after, prompting United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley to post that the segment was trash, underscore underscore not just Hollywood. Janelle Monet pointed her finger at the music industry's role and responsibility following a wave of fuel harassment and abuse scandals that have rocked Hollywood. It's not just going in Hollywood, Monet announced during the show. It's not just going on in Washington. It's right here in our industry as well. Kashi delivered the most powerful performance of her career as she sang Praying, backed by a chorus of women in white, with her emotions raw on her face and in her voice. The pop singer, who has accused her former producer Drive, Luke of raping and jing her, sang directly to overcoming an abusive relationship and finding forgiveness. Dr. Luke has denied her accusations. At the end, the women embraced Kesha in a group hug, underscore underscore acts of violence. The Grammys opened the show with a mix of rap, rock and comedy featuring Kendrick Lamar, U2 and Dave Chappelle. Lamar has a history at the Grammys of combining performance art and music, which he did again with an army of marching camouflage dances in front of the images of the American flag. Lamar performed XXX with Bono and The Edge, with Chappelle adding moments of levity, while the screen declared this as a satire by Kendrick Lamar. But he ended the performance as the sound of gunshots filled the air behind his rapid-fire rapping and his backup dances fell to the floor one by one. Later on in the Grammy show, three country artists gathered in a solemn tribute to victims of a mass shooting at a Las Vegas country music festival and a bombing at an Ariana Grande concert in England. Seated in front of names of victims, the stoic Eric Church seemed to struggle behind his sunglasses to get through performance of Eric Clapton's Tears in Heaven, along with Marin Morrison Brothers Osborne, underscore underscore a country of dreamer singer Camila Cabello, a Cuban-Mexican immigrant brought to the United States as a child, spoke about the American dream in a thinly veiled reference to the Trump administration's policies on immigration. This country was built by dreamers for dreamers, said Cabello, a likely reference to the group of young immigrants protected under the Obama era. Program that was cancelled by Trump last year. After a reading of the poem that is etched into the base of the Statue of Liberty, Irish rock band U2 used the iconic image as a backdrop for a pre-recorded performance of Get Out of Your Own Way from a barge in the Hudson River. Even Sting's performance of his 1987 song Englishman in New York seemed a bit more on the nose as the country deals with reforming immigration laws, underscore underscore dancer duet Elton John and Miley Cyrus had one of the most talked about moments at the 2018 Grammy Awards with a powerhouse rendition of John's ballad Tiny Dancer. John's 1972 single never won a Grammy, but is now considered a classic. John began the song, sitting a piano topped with a white rose, symbol of the Time's Up movement. Cyrus, in a flowing red Zac Posen gown, joined in to give the song a country tinge. The duet drew praise on social media, with former Dawson's Creek star James Van Der Beek tweeting bravo to Cyrus. Last week, 70-year-old John announced details of a three-year world tour that he says will be his last, underscore underscore musical rewind. It may have been the 60th anniversary of the Grammy Awards, but Bruno Mars brought the show back to the 90s with a colorful performance of his song Finesse. 
Mars was the big winner of the night with six awards and beating out leading nominee Jay-Z. Together with rapper Cardi B, the performance was musical and cultural homage to New Jack Swing in Living Color and Mars' brand of funk and R.B. Cardi B kept up with Mars and his band's er uh, dance moves, while showing off her own flamboyant SS on the mic, underscore underscore back to Broadway. The Grammy Awards returned to New York City for the first time in more than a decade with a nod to the city's rich history of musical theater. Tony Award winners Ben Platt and Patti LuPone delivered impressive tributes to composers Andrew Lloyd Webber and Leonard Bernstein. Lupin returned to her iconic performance from Evita with a symphony backing her on Don't Cry For Me Argentina, proving she is among Broadway's greatest singers underscore underscore online www.grammy.com.